Good morning, Northwest time is 6.52. It's time for your morning sprint. Caroline Flynn is live from Float Central ahead of this weekend's Torchlight Parade. And Mark Peterson tracking a cooler and maybe stormier day for us. But first, we've now learned what delayed an agreement between the City of Spokane and Catholic Charities to provide extra police controls around the House of Charity in downtown Spokane. The two groups had originally agreed Catholic Charities would pay $374,000 a year for two officers eight hours a day. The city council was set to vote on it Monday, but Catholic Charities sent a letter asking the city to pay. Instead of voting on the agreement, the council decided to table it for a month. More than 200 people are working long days in Okanagan, helping protect homes and property ahead of major flooding this weekend. The river level's already four feet above flood stage. It's forecasted to rise a foot and a half more by Sunday. That'll cause the second round of major flooding in about a week. If you are in an affected area, Okanagan County is posting updates on its Facebook page, and there's a Red Cross shelter available in Tanaskit. The town of Cusick on the Pondre River is preparing for major flooding as well. We talked to Mayor Chris Evers yesterday, who said said her main concerns are the K-12 through school and the substation, which are both on the riverbanks. Mayor Evers says preparation plans are in place and she's doing her best to keep the public informed. Mark? Well, the last thing they want to hear about is more potential for rain and now potential for some thunderstorm activity throughout eastern Washington, north Idaho. Now, we see that low pressure system that's just centered right here, and we see it continuing to make its way around. This is an active radar, so it's coming down, back around, look, coming out of Montana, headed our way. The radar shows it's knocking on our door. So we are going to have rain showers, but it's the potential thunderstorms we want you to be aware of. That seven-day forecast coming up. Spokane County Sheriff's Office wants you to be on the lookout for an inmate who walked away from his work assignment at the Spokane Fairgrounds yesterday afternoon. 21-year-old Devontae Hood was being held on a misdemeanor traffic charge. He's about 5'5 and about 140 pounds. If you've seen him, call Crime Check at 456-2233. Police in Idaho want your help finding a missing teenager. 17-year-old Owen Finstwaite was last seen Monday at Northwest Academy. It's a therapeutic boarding school in Boundary County. Owen's mother called called KXOY4 from her Massachusetts home saying her son ran away and maybe here in Washington. She says Owen suffers from mental health issues and is a danger to himself. If you see him, call 911. A former Gonzaga priest and professor will spend six months in jail for possessing child porn. 67-year-old Gary Ulencott pleaded guilty in February to second-degree child porn possession. A review of his transaction showed he spent more than $1,100 on child porn from a Canadian website from 2008 to 2011. A Malden man with a criminal record that includes murder and homicide convictions has now been released from jail. 49-year-old Bobby Bilderback was just arrested Sunday on suspicion of rape, kidnapping, and assault in Pullman. But Bilderback was not charged by the 3 p.m. deadline yesterday because the only witness in the case stopped cooperating. And I am in the driver's seat right now of the Lilac Festival's Royal Court Float that's going to be in the Armed For Forces Torchlight Parade this Saturday at 745. It's going to be going all throughout downtown Spokane. If you want to get a peek at the princesses and queens that will be riding in this, you're going to want to be down there by the start at 745. And uh, if you don't want to reserve your seat with one of those uh, lawn chairs, be sure to buy a $15 bleacher seat. Looking ahead today, the city of Spokane is now working on paving 40 miles of unpaved alleys and dirt streets throughout the city over the course of the next three years. It's part of a $1.5 million project aimed at creating smoother streets used for garbage pickup. Some areas are already seeing improvements, and you can expect to see crews working on the alleys for the next three summers. To find out if a street near you will be paved, you can find a map on KXOY.com. And coming up next on Good Morning America, the latest details on the investigation into a deadly package that exploded in a Southern California spa, killing the owner and injuring three others. As Michael Cullen's suspicious business, that business activity continues to be investigated, new allegations say records of $3 million in transactions have gone missing. Outside, we've got a pretty nice day. Showers are in and around Spokane. We're going to see those rain showers today with the thunder shower activity potential this afternoon, 68, 65 tomorrow. Parade should be dry in 70. That's great purpose for uh -huh. a lot of them. Indeed. Good morning, America starts right now. We'll see you in about 25 minutes.